Welcome back, everybody. I finally finished the uh, Stygian little quest I have here. I finally collected the Stygian heart. Got a nice little epic boss fight. And uh, now it's time to deliver the heart to Samael. And uh, I need to first find him. I think there's a nice little Volgrim location, too, that I can just, like, go to. And I won't have to backtrack all the way. Thank goodness. Be strategically placed Volgrim places right here. Bravo, Even the ash crawling Stygian lies dead in your wake. Yes. Who can stand against you? Yes, who? Who, I might say. No one. No one indeed. Alright, I will not buy any of that useless drive. Nope, I don't want that. Uh, yeah, why not? By the last, like, reaper. You are as wise as you are powerful. I don't think that's fully upgraded either. I think there's like one more, maybe. Alright, Serpent Hole time. Let's go back to Crossroads. This time I'll actually collect the things I need from the Crossroads. <laughs> Guys, I can't wait! I can't wait to play freaking Darksiders 2! Getting so close to play it. Because seriously, there's only like, okay. I guess there's technically two more dungeons after this. After I deliver the heart. And, um. Then I have the, you know, the epic fi finale of Darksiders. Which I will not say unless you haven't played the game yet. Which, if you haven't played Darksiders and you're watching this, don't watch it. Unless you don't care about playing the game, then okay then. <laughs> that's why I was like, that's when I don't have a problem. It's like, if you don't want to play the first game, but you're really excited for the second game for some reason, then I understand. But, um, yeah, the epic, there's, a, there's like two more parts, and then there's the ending area. So I can't wait for that. So. Uh. Alright. So, we are here. There's a collectible. Whoa, we're not. You guys never go this far. Booyah! I know how to deck out pain. And I need to level up my uh, Chaos Eater anyway. Booyah! Whoa! Whoa, where are you coming from, you little turd? Yeah, that's right. Eat it. Eat it. Alright. I need you. The health. It's interesting that the angels are in this, these parts of the land, too. Like, they're so close to Semi-L. Darn it! I was gonna do the finish. Ah, oh, there we go. <laughs> love it! I love it. There we go. Uh, wrong one. I don't have the right weapon selected. There we go. Oh yeah, now I can collect whatever's in here. I think this would be abyssal armor or a uh be a legendary slot piece maybe. Yep, it's the legendary slot piece. What is this all about? What does it do? Please tell me. Oh. Is that yeah, that's where a legend I think that's where either is gonna be legend or legendary artifact. And uh so these are the champions. That's, I think, legendary. Or, it's called something else, maybe. But let's see, do I have it? Oh, it's not, it's not legendary. That sucks. <laughs> oh well, what does it do? Wait, okay, in order to actually activate this, it needs to be slotted, boost weapon damage on strikes, and, uh, let's see, has a chance of inflicting fire damage upon targets. So if you want to have a cool effect and everything, and huge amount of damage, um, then that is the weapon, uh, well, the thing for you. I've noticed that weapon looks like it has 
like a ripped man on it. If you notice, I don't know. Just look carefully. It looks like a guy with abs, a huge chest, and that's it. Maybe he's wearing a thong too. <laughs> I don't know, but yeah, just I don't know. I, am I the only guy that sees that that picture? Almost looks like there's some ripped, scaled guy there. I, I don't know. It is weird. <laughs> it's weird what I see in things at times. A doctor would say I'm crazy. Alright. Back in this area again. And I still don't have the freaking grappling hook. So it's kind of worthless to keep going back here. Booyah! <laughs> Damn. You're wrecking him. I've noticed that when you go back to other areas, the enemies are getting harder. They're like, they're a harder type of enemies. So it's very interesting. They like to keep the difficulty uh, raised, at least. Well, it makes uh, farming for experience for your weapons a hell of a lot easier, though. Because the tougher enemies you fight, the more experience you get. And I don't mind that. Sadly, though, progressive leveling, uh, well, progressive difficulty has always been a problem in games anyway. Due to the fact that, um, what's the point in leveling up your weapons and all that if the enemies get stronger and stronger anyway? So what's the point? I know it's to survive those enemies, but I don't really get it at times. A lot of people just like, yeah, progressive leveling kind of sucks. Or progressive difficulty. When it comes to leveling up other games. I like the classic example is, of course, Oblivion. It's always very interesting to go through that. Alright, see if we can get the semi out before I have to end this. That or we will have to wait in order to start our next adventure. Oh, he's a big guy. You know what? I'm going to see if I can... Uh, you know what? No, I need the experience. Bring it the F on. Aha! He will never fly again, you monster! Bring it! Samuel, I hope you're watching this. Uh, this will be you one day, you little turd. I can call, uh... Oh, I haven't killed you. With, oh crap, we're gonna fall! <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, that was really close. Alright, we're good, we're good. I can call, uh, call my horse. Woo! Man, your hair goes wild, emo horse. Right. You can go back to your dark place. <laughs> Alright, Samuel, hopefully you're, you will enjoy what I have for you. One more, just one more, and then more. You get your tower. Silitha's web-infested lair is far across the great chasm in the Ashlands. Ruin has yet to regain much of his strength, but he will make the distance. As for Silitha, just get there, and she'll find you. The Broodmother is a collector of sorts. Most who enter her realm, she feeds to her young, the one she takes an interest in. <laughs> ah, those are the unlucky ones, those she keeps alive, and they can live a long time, long enough to tell her thing. You could say she collects stories, information, what stories will she tell me about you, Samael? Careful, or your ending will be a tragic one. Sometimes the hero dies in the end. But Horseman, I like stories that have a He's bipolar happy out the ass. Now bring me the final heart. Samael, you need some You need some medicine. <laughs> 
Like seriously. He like gets really pissed and then he calms himself. Either either he's very controlling or uh wait one second. <laughs> or he's like insanely bipolar and he doesn't know it. It's like freaking demons, man. They all have anger issues, they don't know how to control shit. They always get themselves in you know, in trouble well, yeah, in trouble. <laughs> but they always die a lot. Blah blah blah. Okay, well I better end it before I get in trouble again. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. Thank you for the like. Thanks for the likes and the subscribes. And I will see you guys next time. Enjoy yourself.